You want to replace the screen of your Motorola Moto G10? In this video we'll show you how. Replacing the screen of your Motorola Moto G10 is the most complex repair, since all components have to be removed. Allow about 90 to 120 minutes for it. For the repair you will need the following tools. In addition, these tools can be helpful as well. You can find all mentioned tools and an original Motorola replacement screen in our online store at adduct.eu. We've put the links in the info box. First, switch off your Motorola Moto G10 to avoid a potential short circuit during the repair. To do so, press and hold the power button until the power menu appears on the screen. Tap on Power Off. Your smartphone will now shut down within a few seconds. Next, remove the SIM tray by pressing into the small opening next to the SIM tray with the pointed tool. Pull it completely out of the device frame and set it aside. The Moto G10 is opened via the back cover. It is made of plastic and hooked into the screen unit. Note that the specified IP certification expires after opening your phone. To open your phone, carefully slide a flat, sturdy plastic tool, such as a pick or the eye plastics, between the back cover and the case frame. Run the tool around the back cover so that you can hear and feel the hooks loosen. The back cover is slightly glued around the fingerprint sensor and the camera module. Therefore, heat it additionally in these areas with a hot air device, such as a hairdryer. When removing the back cover, press the camera module and the sensor down, so that you don't accidentally tear them off. Once the back cover is detached, the next step is to remove the plastic cover over the motherboard. First, pull off all protective film strips from the frame. Then, in the next step, unscrew the 9 Phillips screws from the cover. To avoid losing the screws, we recommend using a screw storage, such as a magnetic pad. You can find the link in the info box. Carefully lever the loosened plastic cover upwards with a spatter and take it out of the device. The fingerprint sensor lies loosely on top of the plastic cover. To avoid damaging it when removing the cover, you should hold it aside. Now disconnect the battery. To avoid a short circuit during the repair, you should always disconnect the battery as soon as possible. To do so, carefully lever it off the motherboard with a spatter. Disconnect the fingerprint sensor in the same way and take it out of the device. Now you can remove the battery. It is glued over a large area. To loosen it more easily, you should heat it with hot air from the screen side beforehand. Pull the battery upwards with a suction cup and try to carefully lever it out of its guide with a battery spatter. Once the battery is lifted up a bit, slide the flat eye plastics under and use it to separate the battery step by step from the screen's inside. Work your way forward with a cutting motion. Continue with the front camera. First, loosen the copper film that is attached on it. Then separate its connector from the motherboard and carefully lever the camera module out of its guide with the tweezers. The power and volume buttons are attached to the board via the same connector that is stuck in a kind of latch. Start by opening the connector latch by carefully levering it upwards with the spatter. Then pull the flex cable out from under the latch. The rest of the flex cable is integrated into a black protective layer and glued to the edge of the case. Heat it briefly and then loosen it carefully with a pair of tweezers. Before you can remove the motherboard, you still have to disconnect the screen cable as well as the antenna cable. Carefully separate both from the board. 
We recommend using ESD tweezers to separate the small metal plug of the antenna cable. Afterwards, unscrew the two Phillips screws that fix the motherboard. Level the board upwards and take it out of the device. Hold the flex cable to the side again to avoid damaging it. Now carefully remove the earpiece with a pair of tweezers and take it out of the device. To remove the speaker, you first have to unscrew its seven Phillips screws. Then lever it up and put it aside. Continue with the USB board. First disconnect the connecting cable. Then pull the antenna cable out of its guide. Unscrew the single Phillips screw and take the board out of the device, with the antenna cable still attached. The slightly glued vibration motor must be removed and taken over as well. Use tweezers to remove it from its guide. You can find an original replacement screen for your Motorola Moto G10 and the appropriate tools for this repair in our online store at adoc.eu. Prepare your replacement screen by peeling off all seals and protective films from the inside. To protect the screen glass from scratches, you can leave the protective film on until the end of your repair. Put the vibration motor back into its guide and press it lightly. Now also reinsert the USB board. Make sure that you do not pinch the connector of the connecting cable. It is best to hold it a bit to the side when inserting it. Fix the board with a Phillips screw. Then press the antenna cable into its guide with the help of tweezers. Reconnect the connecting cable to the board by pressing it carefully. You should hear and feel it click into place. Be especially careful when attaching connectors and never press them down with force. A damaged connector can lead to the failure of an entire component. Now reinsert the speaker module. In order for it to sit evenly, its plastic legs must blend into the housing frame. Finally, fix the module with the seven Phillips screws. Put back the earpiece. Make sure that it sits level in its guide. Put the motherboard back in place. It is best to place the board at a slight angle. To avoid pinching the antenna and screen cable, bend them a bit to the side. Screw the board in place with the two Phillips screws. Afterwards, you can reconnect the screen and antenna cable by carefully pressing the connectors onto the board. Now also reattach the flex cable of the power and volume buttons to the edge of the case. Insert the cable end back into the latch on the motherboard and close the latch again. Put the front camera back into its guide and connect it. Then cover it with the copper film again. Press the battery firmly in its guide. The adhesive residue on the battery's back is usually sufficient to securely attach it again. If you want to be sure, watch our video about gluing the battery. Position the fingerprint sensor and connect it to the motherboard.
After that, you can also connect the battery. Always connect the battery last to avoid a potential short circuit. Once both components are connected, you can put the plastic cover back over the motherboard and press it down. At the same time, hold the fingerprint sensor to the side to avoid pinching it. If the cover sits level, press the sensor on it. Finally fix the board cover with 9 Phillips screws. Before you close your smartphone again, we recommend testing the replacement screen at this point. Turn on your Motorola. Press and hold an app and drag it across the screen to check whether the touch responds everywhere. You should also check the function of the fingerprint sensor after the repair. With the help of our checklist, you can test other basic functions too. We link it to you in the info box. If something does not work properly, check again if all components are connected and screwed correctly. At the end of the repair, you have to reattach the back cover. Align it over the screen unit and press it firmly along the frame so that you can hear and feel it click into place. It has to sit evenly everywhere. To ensure that the glue around the camera and sensor bonds properly, you should briefly heat the edge with hot air. The last step is to insert the SIM tray. Make sure that you insert it the right way around. You made it! The screen of your Moto G10 is now replaced. I hope your Motorola Moto G10 looks like new again. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time! You can find high quality tools, spare parts and accessories for your smartphone repair in our store, iDoc. Everything for your smartphone. Discover more repair guides and other helpful videos on our channel.